I'm inviting the chair for this session to be here. And uh, please welcome so that we can be seated before the, the, our guest is here. Dr. Were, wherever you are, Dr. Were Ongino, wherever you are, you're invited to the podium. Mary Boniface, wherever you are, please, you're also invited here. Give me the names. Do we have Mill Center Allo around? Abdi Kadir Mohammed. Aito Ibrahim. Yes, please. Uh, I'm inviting the two presenters to be here. Just come here, all of you. Mill Center Allo. Just come on. Huh? So we we so Millicent, hello. Please come over to the podium for your presentation. Engineer Millicent, hello. Please. We have this. Good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, welcome to our afternoon session. And uh, this is a session where we are going to have some abstracts presented. As was mentioned earlier, research and um, documentation is what will help us give value proposition. And we have Abdul Qadir Khalil Ibrahim who will be presenting his abstract on strengthening the medical laboratory productivity in Mandera for achieving UHC. I'd like to invite him to speak to us. He has an MSc in health system strengthening and currently works in Mandera as the, as the lead in um, medical laboratory services. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a very great opportunity for me. I am honored to stand in front of you. I come from Akada, 
that is very much uh, marginalized. Uh, the personnel feel very much neglected and uh, actually excluded. This is the medical laboratory department. The roles it plays include diagnostic testing, public health testing, disease surveillance, medical legal and forensic, blood transfusion services. The laboratory supports the health promotion, research and training. This department is very critical in achieving universal health coverage, UHC. This department is highly scientific. The laboratory department is very highly scientific, can only be managed by its own experts. Decisions by managers with no laboratory insights have led to compromise the quality of services. As you know, health facility in charges are the ones that decide on the laboratory management at county level, sub-county level, at health centers and dispensaries. Poor leadership structure that lacks autonomy has led to lack of appreciation, lack of understanding the laboratory activities, inadequate allocation of resources. It has also led to demotivation of the personnel leading to low productivity. It has led to high cost of treatment, increased patient referrals to India and other countries. It has led to presence of undetected diseases within the Kenya population and high cost of treatment. During the COVID-19, the department was very much understaffed, it had high uh, workload at county and the national levels. Uh, the 2021 laboratory personnel strike, which was nationwide, is an indication of demotivation that the department is facing. This department lacks union recognition. The union of this department has not been recognized. It lacks collective bargaining agreement, CBA, the personnel work behind the walls with poor representation. No bio-risk allowance. They carry the pathogens with their clothes to the community, to their homes, to their children, because they are not given laboratory attire allowances they are not given uniform allowance. They are not given risk allowance, bio-risk allowance. And there was limited supply of PPEs. This department generally faces poor representation. These personnel feel they are neglected and excluded. They have a lot of depression. We have a lot of depression among the laboratory personnel. We need more research concerning the laboratory department. My recommendations are lab experts manage this level, this department. The management level, at the management level, we must have laboratory experts. We have to remove bottleneck policies for this department's improvement. Adequate remuneration. Allow the recognition of the laboratory union 
NAMLO allow these personnel to have a collective bargaining agreement with the government, enhance policies on employee development, For any system to succeed, we must ensure that all parts are balanced and adequately coordinated. Actually, the least effective part of that system might actually determine the output of that system. In this case, the laboratory, which is the poorest performing, might determine the output of the health system. And so it might, it will affect the UHC, universal health coverage, unless we do something to improve this department and its personnel. Thank you very much. Let's give him a hand of applause, please. Um, as he rightly said, we need to recognize all unions and we need to have a collective voice as unions and associations because as united as we are, the st stronger we are. Isn't that correct? Yeah. So um, next, we don't have any more abstract presentations. And I think that's... Sorry, just give us a minute. So we have some abstracts that have been written in the booklet. Please take your time to go through them. And um, also let's make an effort to work on a lot of research so that we can have a voice that is research backed. Scientific evidence always counts and goes a long way. So moving on from abstract presentations, we will invite Mr. Oliver Barraza from NUMLO. He's the vice chairperson who will be given three minutes to talk about remuneration, promotions, and rare designation. Thank you. Uh, please come up to the stage. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, colleagues. Uh, my name is uh, Barraza Oliver. Um, representing Kenya Union of Kenya National Union of Medical Laboratory Officer as the national vice chair. I'm here to speak for the faithless. As my brother Abdikadir has said, laboratory is a key component to, uh, towards achieving quality healthcare. But this is a department that has been left behind. This is a department whenever we have a discussion like this. I know you can count how many times the laboratory has been mentioned, but I believe 70% of the diagnosis in healthcare is made by the laboratory. So uh, uh, I've been given uh, three minutes. Uh, the reason why most of us, we are here and we are complaining is because of the renumeration promotion and redesignation of our cadres. Uh, because I believe everyone, when you wake up early in the morning to go to work, he expects at the end of the day or the end of the month 
there is a paycheck that he expect to cover his bills. Uh, he expect to foot his bills at the end of the day. But this happened that uh, most of our health workers, according to the World Health Organization report in 2006, it happens that uh, most of the Kenyan health workers, their minimum wage is below, uh, the, the salaries of our health workers is below the living wage. This ma ma makes them demotivated, dissatisfied, and uh, most of them find ma majority, like for me personally, I have friends, have colleagues who quit the laboratory to go and pursue other uh, businesses. Because why? You find in our, most of our healthcare uh, workers, you find someone starting as a uh, payment as low as 10,000. These are very discouraging, and this is something that we need to, to look at. I don't want to go through the major of the slide because of time. Just um, this uh, I've talked about. So there's the main challenges that we are facing uh, as the as the as the health sector, and um, this if not looked at it critically, it's going to affect the giving of the universal health coverage. Especially I've uh, talked about the the laboratory department. So. The government is so resistant that if we want promotion, we want more allowances, that we have to withdraw our services, we have to go on strike, we have to go, uh, go slow before they listen to us. I think there is uh, a narrative that uh, the government listens well to, to strikes, but we want to move away from this. And that's why this conversation that we are here we are trying to come together, to reason together, to have a sober discussion that will ask the health sector we need to move away from this so that we can find a better way so that we can solve our issues. So I think there is a few recommendations. Just go to the last slide because I don't want to take a lot of time. The last slide, please. Just a second. Okay, so this uh, I found these are some of the just recommendations that uh, we find that if we can impress them, we as the government, uh, it will be able to address most of the issues. Uh, I want to talk about something that's very critical. I know most of us we are talking here about the government employees, but there is our colleagues in the private sector that are really suffering that the unions, we are focused so much of the government employees leaving the, our private colleagues languishing in poverty, and there are most of them, they have no representation. No one can speak on their behalf. It's high time that the union, the societies, the association need to go and negotiate with the private sector so that at least our colleagues, because most of us, we go to the same class, we start with them, but when they are found on the other side, and you find the other side, you find that you, feel you are distinct from them. We are same. So I encourage that as the union, we need to engage also the private sector because a private sector plays a very important role towards achieving universal health coverage. Yesterday we talked about NHIF. The large percentage is going to private sector, but we cannot see where that money is going to. So I recommend that uh, unions should engage also private sector and encourage our, member, our colleagues who are in private sectors also to allow themselves to join the union societies so that also they can contribute towards this discussion. Uh, a few of the, something that uh, came out yesterday uh, to avoid uh, issues of uh, these uh, strikes and uh, a cost law that disrupts most of the, our health services. It's all about establishing the work consults. I think this is a new innovation that is coming in and it will help us a lot. Instead of waiting until the, the issue is at, a, at the critical level, we can in, constantly engage the government and let the government see us as, as fr friends to them, not as enemies. Because when